Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for tuning back into my channel, The Always Improving Garage. Today we're going to talk about torque wrenches. I have four different kinds of torque wrenches here. We have the beam style, the clicker, split beam, and the digital. On the beam style torque wrench, you actually don't have to set it up at all. You just put your socket on, this one's a half inch drive, and as you're torquing, what's going to happen is this will move. So right now you'd be at 20 foot-pounds, 40 foot-pounds, and so on. So you just watch this until you reach your desired torque. On the clicker torque wrench, this one is a quarter inch drive version. What you're going to do is you take this and you turn it. This part will move up on the scale right there. So you just turn it until you reach the desired torque that you want. And then as you're torquing, what's going to happen is you'll hear a click and then you're done. Now on this style torque wrench, it's important to know it. You'll see. Right here it says store at 20 inch pounds. So when you get done using it, you need to actually take this and turn it back down to the lowest setting. This type of torque wrench is only meant to be set while you're using it. It's like say if you say if you leave this up at like 80 inch pounds and you put it away like that, and you go back to use it a week later, a month later. Eventually, this torque wrench is going to become inaccurate because it was left with preload on the spring. So, so I want to throw that out there if you get the style of torque wrench. Split beam torque wrench. This one is a half inch drive version. So what you're going to do is take this, open it, then you turn this here. Like right now, we'd be at 80 foot pounds. And then similar to the clicker style, once you reach your desired torque, you'll hear a click. And then you're done. Um, some people might disagree with me on what I'm about to say, but when you get done using a split beam torque wrench, you don't necessarily have to turn it back down to the lowest setting because the split beam is built different from the clicker cell. So I mean, it's good practice to turn it down when you get done, nothing wrong with it. But if you don't, it's, it's not going to hurt it. Digital torque wrench. This one is the 3A stride version. Turn it on here. This one goes up to 100 foot-pounds. You can change your setting. There's angles, newton meters, inch-pounds, and it's back to foot-pounds. This one, you can hear the beep, and then it's also got lights here. Once you get close to your desired torque and wants to reach it. This one does not have a backlit display. It does not vibrate either. The one I have at work does does all those features plus this. So this is just one I use at home. And all these torque wrenches are really nice. It just depends on your budget, which you need to use them for. Uh, the beam style, don't really use it a whole lot anymore. It's more of just a backup for me now. The clicker, I don't do a lot of quarter inch drive torquing. Just wanted to have this one. I actually kind of wanted to have it, you know, just for the variety. So I could have all these different kinds of torque wrenches and use them and, and share it with you guys one day, you know, make a video like this. A uh, split beam torque wrench. I like using this style. 
It's a good torque wrench if you've never had one before. Digital is also great. You just gotta keep in mind, you know, if you need batteries for it, if you're if you're out somewhere and you know spare batteries, um and they die, you may or may not be able to get through the job. So just keep that in mind. Not, not a big deal, but just that there are electronics involved. So out of all these torque wrenches, like say if I could only buy one torque wrench in my life and that would be it, what would I pick? That's honestly a really hard question, but I think I would pick, just kidding, actually no, I would actually go with the split beam, I think. Why is that? Well, there's a lot of reasons. They're easy to set up. They're easy to read. The setting that you're on, a little easier than the clicker style. Not that it's too hard, but I just like how the split beam is designed. And if you forget to turn it back down to the lowest setting when you're done, it's not necessarily going to hurt it. Um, I'm aware the split beam does not do angles, but like I said, it was a hard question. Um, I threw out there, just, if I had to pick just one, what I would do. But probably be the split beam for me. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching.